welcome back to my youtube channel um today i just want to film a quick get ready with me video and we're just going to quickly briefly talk about what dating in la is like i am going to just tell you based on my experiences so far i've been here for about two months and it has been an experience i'll tell you that um i'm supposed to go on a date with a really nice guy today so we'll see how that goes we're supposed to be going to a winery. I think it's called Stonehouse Winery. Um, it's pretty far out, but I mean, you know. So, anyways. So to begin, I'm gonna, this might be in my face at some point, or it might be over here. Just ignore it, because I'm gonna have to look at my face to do my makeup at some point, because my mirror behind is further away, because the whole setup was in front. Um, so to start, I'm using my skin baby skin by Maybelline this is the pore is uh, this one and the one by benefit that is professional are so good you guys I absolutely love these things they are so amazing um, in case the air conditioning goes off at some point please just understand that it's on because I don't want my face to be sweating when I'm doing this you guys this Maybelline one and the one by benefit so good i swear by them i actually have a really big haul coming up so right now i'm going to use the revlon color stay brown mousse and this is it my nails are a bit of like in complete shambles but what's going to happen is i am going to um fill them repaint them before I head out so I find that this brown mousse sometimes it comes out a little bit darker than I would like so what I do is I don't necessarily let a lot of it come out and and then I go ahead and fill it in fill in the brow itself yeah. <laughs> I actually can't find my brow um, concealer brush today, which is not the best. I've actually been looking for it before I started filming this video. Um, my brow concealer brush is really the best thing ever. I got it in Primark, so it's not like anything expensive. I actually bought it in Primark. It's like a two-in-one um, spoolie and a concealer brow concealer brush. I got two. It was a set of two. For like a pound or a pound 50 maybe it was two pounds but it is so good i swear by it if you can't already tell my eyebrows are not in the best i'm <laughs> not in the best shape they need to be threaded but i haven't had time to get them threaded so this is what you're gonna get i'm sorry and then now i'm gonna go in and fill in the brow with this brow game strong by ico london so here it is it's ico london and it's called brow game strong it's actually pretty dark so i just like to go really 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 lightly really lightly but it's a little dark for me so I don't like to put in a little I don't like to put in too much um, yeah also I'm not sure what wig I'm gonna wear tonight yet but I'm leaning more towards my short wig so it might be that or it might not be I'm not sure yet we'll see but I'll see how I feel when I'm done um yeah That's one brow filled. So you can see what I mean by it's a bit dark. See what I mean? So, but I will bring everything back right down with my powder and all that good stuff. So this makeup is like my quick makeup because if I'm honest, I'm running a bit behind schedule. So this is not going to be makeup that's going to take five years or anything this is going to be a very quick one 
a nice guy but then again you meet nice guys in LA I feel like meeting a nice guy in LA is not the hardest thing I mean a nice guy that's consistent and has a like has a brain I don't mean like smartness you meet a lot of smart guys that's not the problem meeting guys that are actually trying to you know do more than one day and not try to do stuff with you on the first day that they meet you is a completely different ball game it's just so crazy I just don't even understand what the logic behind how they think here is it's so different and it's just like honestly it's gonna take some getting used to I mean if you're in LA if you live in LA then you know what I mean by dating in LA is so weird first of all it's such a hookup culture which is so different for me coming from London and coming from Nigeria where the whole hookup mentality just isn't there I mean yeah people hook up but then when they meet you and they're trying to take you out and all that stuff it's not because they're trying to smash you on the first date they're actually you know trying to get to know you first and try to see if they vibe with you and all that LA they meet you first they vibe with you they're trying to smash and it's just like ugh. can we grow up please this is not what we're doing at this age come on like i kid you not it's really irritating okay so this is some wine i'm not you're not gonna be able to see into the glass i'm sorry but just to get me in the zone, in the zone. isn't my glass so fancy Okay, so basically because I can't find my um, my actual concealer brush, what I'm going to be using today is this one, the one that came in my Maybelline New York little thing, it comes like this. So I'm going to use that to outline my brows today because of the situation that I'm in. So like I said, this is not like any, this is not the usual makeup that I do, but this is what it's going to have to be today. Now, LA dating is a super weird, you guys. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain the weirdness, but like if you're, if you're in LA, please just put in the comment section if you understand what I'm talking about, of how ridiculously weird it is to date out here, especially if you're from out of town. If you're, out of, if you're out of LA then you completely understand and then you meet someone and I don't know if it's because there's just so much competition um, you know and girls out here just have so much competition when a guy meets you he feels the need to tell you his entire resume and it's just so crazy it's like dude I'm not out here with you because of your resume like I don't even know you so I don't really care about your resume it's just like you know, I didn't come to meet you because of your resume like I didn't even know what your resume was before I met you so can you chill and guys I kid you not it's the craziest thing and then you meet some guys they're like oh yeah I know what it's like to date in LA it's really weird people here are so scared, scared of commitment they're saying all these things then you're like, oh, finally, someone that has a brain and knows what I'm talking about. Then you go on a date with the person. And then the person just does the same thing. It's like, oh, my God. I mean, he might not try to sleep with you because of the conversation you guys have had about the whole situation. But what he does is that the next day, he doesn't even, oh, God, he doesn't even bother. First of all, the date's over, it went well, whatever. And then he doesn't bother to find out if he got home safe. And then he doesn't call you the next day. And he's just kind of waiting around for you to do the calling. And it's like, I feel like the men here do that because they just feel, it's, it's one of two things. It's either they feel like the women here have so many options, so why bother? Or they feel like they have so many options, so why bother? So you put in the effort. And it's just like, that's not going to be happening, boo-boo. And so they don't call you. And then the next day after that, maybe the day, two days after, they give you a call and they're asking you questions like, oh, you didn't call me. You know, I expected, I, I just thought you would call me. I thought it was a good day. Like, I, I thought you were going to reach out. And you're just there like, what, sir? 
What are you saying, sir? <laughs> I'm gonna use my Taos palette that, and it's a Nigerian brand. Um, here you go. Taos Cosmetics, and it's a Nigerian brand, but I believe the things, the products are not made in Nigeria, they are made in America, but the company is a Nigerian company. And there is an eyeshadow named after me, <laughs> which I think is so, Freaking cute. That's the one that's named after me is right there. So I'm gonna use that as a transition color. I don't know if you can see from there, but it's such a beautiful color. Beautiful. Yeah. So and I just only tapped into it, so the AC has gone off again. I'm just gonna come back on but yeah I just only tapped into it like very lightly it's very highly 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 pigmented but doing my layer is really weird you guys I can't say this enough I feel like I'm constantly reiterating the fact that dating my layer is so weird because it's so super freaking weird um but yeah but I know the fun thing I can say say about it is the fact that like I've met some pretty great guys that I will probably be friends with you know just for life because they're just really cool human beings um I feel like also another thing is that because you're out here dating in LA and because LA is such a weird demographic and such a I'm gonna say demographic I don't mean like people I mean like just like the way the dating situation is you're meeting more people so you're meeting different people different races different people from all works of life which is really cool um because it just means that you're just more open to things. So now I'm gonna use the Anissa color. Oh, I can't see, there we go, that, that one. I'm gonna use that one right there in the middle. Cause like I said, I'm not trying to do anything too serious. So I'm gonna use that one in the middle all the way to the front. Cause I want something pretty subtle a nude like some color but like not when it not when it looks like it's a lot of color you know because I want to do like a red lip I just decided now that I want to do a red lip so I'm gonna use in the palette I'm gonna use Chalia which is right here um, I mean he's really cool we're going to a winery um, called Stone House I've actually never been and again, I've only been here two months, so I've only been to a, a, like a number of things. But yeah, it's called Stone House. Um, so basically, that's, that's all for eyeshadow. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else. So I'm gonna do white eyeliner for the bottom half. Looking crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna be using Revlon Color Stay. Um, Revlon color today in the color toast and I'm using a beauty blender it's already been um, soaked as you can see I used it yesterday so it's not washed or anything remember then keep in mind that I put my primer earlier so I do, when I'm putting my foundation on, I put it everywhere. I put it on my ears, and then I try to pull it down to my neck. So it does. So you gotta blink, 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 any kind of lighting. Any kind of lighting is gonna make my face be like, whoa, damn, girl. <laughs> mm, sometimes I put um, foundation, I let foundation touch my lips like today because I want my red to really pop. And sometimes I don't. But today I am. Ooh, my eyes need to rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You gotta make sure you get in those nose creases. Now what I like about this Revlon Color Stay combination um, oily skin foundation is that it really is a 24 hour wear um, foundation. It stays on so well it doesn't move unless like you take it off. It really doesn't move. And I have this fantastic spray that I use afterwards. Oh, child. My makeup is not going to move at any point today. But yeah, there you go. Now, let's just add my old faithful. There we go. That looks more like it. Okay. So gonna blend this baby out <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Laurie Mercier oh god Laurie Mercier translucent setting powder and that should help my under eye at least give it some some color now when I'm going on a date, which I've been on a few dates, I've been here two months in LA and I've been a few, on a few dates and I think that's because I've, I've used, I mean I've met some people in like events, met through friends or something, but a few of my dates have been from apps, um, <clears throat> like Bumble, and I recently downloaded Hinge but i haven't been on any dates off hinge yet but i've met some nice i mean i've been talking to some people some people that seem nice but who knows <sighs> i've learned something in la you can't just go off of thinking someone is nice from talking to them on the phone and stuff because yeah <clears throat> generally what happens is you meet them or you don't meet them or you meet them and it's just like complete letdown so i mean in terms of the date goes well and then they just decide that they're not going to be consistent with it. And it's just like, oh my God, what kind of time wasting is that? You know? Oh my God. I have a whole story time to tell you guys, but I think I'm going to, about one of these date situations, but I think I'm, I genuinely feel like I should save it for a story time because it was such a disaster. The guy showed up looking like a ghetto fool. I kid you not like oh god I was actually like oh my god what did I set myself on actually this is from hinge that's what happened on a hinge date I wouldn't really consider it a hinge date though because the guy was like just so ghetto it just there was no way in hell it was gonna work out I'm gonna save it for a story time I need to tell you guys because really and truly I even need to mess up the courage to tell you guys because it's so embarrassing but I feel like is it really embarrassing? Not on my part, because I don't really even fly and fart about the guy, but. Well, I'll tell you one thing. What happened has never happened to me in my life. Almost 30 years on this earth, and it has never happened to me, so. Hmm. I feel like the look is coming together. What do you guys think? We're getting married. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. P.S. Contour Kit. I'm gonna have to show you from the back because the front is a mess. I do love it. I've been using it for so long. Look, there's nothing. The middle one is what I use all the time. And the middle one is a complete disaster. It's like nothing left. I absolutely love it. I think it just does the trick. Ooh, my AC, the AC has gone off and my face is already starting to melt. I'm one of those people that when they do makeup, I have to have air blowing because my face literally starts to melt almost immediately. It's the craziest thing. I like a strong contour when I go out on dates because you're gonna be looking someone straight in the face. My face is already starting to melt. You probably can't even see it on camera, but. I can see it right here. And I don't like what I say. I don't like that I'm melting already. Alrighty, so that's that. 
Press my face looking like a contoured goddess. Looking crazy. Now, before I put my lashes on, this is my gem. My hidden gem, you guys. You need to get this. It is so good. I think it's the mixture of um, Maybelline Pore Eraser Baby baby Skin and or um, uh, Benefit Professional and this Remote London Insta Fix and Go. It is so freaking good, you guys. So good. Like, so, so, so good. It's crazy. So what I've just done is I've just sprayed my face. And I'm going to put some powder over my face again. And then I'm going to do my highlight. Um, my glow. My lips. I'm using Taos powder as well. I use either my Taos powder or I use my MAC powder. To kind of set my face. So what I like to do is I like to set everything. Including my eyebrows. Just to just bring everything all the way down. My glow. Just be warned, I like to glow. I, I like you to see me from like a mile away when you enter a room. So, don't think, oh my god, that's too much. That's just what I like. And I like what I like. I'm using the Anastasia, Anastasia Glow Kit. And the color that I always like to use is summer <laughs> these ones haven't even been touched they're basically not even used which is so crazy they haven't even been used and baby girl summer over here is like finished this is crazy okay so i like to go out go out shine shine from the rooftop before anyone comes to me, I'm not a makeup artist, guys. I just like what I like. And I'm just good at what I like. It's good for my face. I mean, I've done people's makeup, you know, in life. Family members and stuff. And friends. Because people think I'm good at doing makeup, but I think I'm alright. But this makeup right here was like so rushed. It is hilarious. Can you see my glow? <laughs> Love it. You guys, I'm one of those people that glow excites. Like glowing excites me. It excites me. Makes me so happy. anyone asks I like to do my lashes last for reasons unknown to me but I just do um, <clears throat> but before I do my lashes I'm just gonna quickly use this Maybelline eye studio gel liner in black black is black noir pre noir that's what it's called black is black and it is the Maybelline in black is black I will show you what it looks like on the inside, but it's gel and it just looks a mess, so no. And I just like to put that on my upper eyelid. Do you know how eyeliner is be doing? You just let it do what it wants to do. I need to have some wine before I put the lips on, because once the lips are on, and the wig goes on. I'm going to be using this pencil. It's my friend's makeup brand. Which, right off the bat right now, I feel like a bad friend. I can't remember the name. But it is in Urban. I will put the description in the link below. And I will put where you can get it. Um, the link for where you can get it. Because it's such an amazing lip liner. It just glides on so beautifully. And I'm going to use that. You see what I mean? I haven't even done anything. And it's already like just like screaming. Yes. And I'm going to use that to line my lips.
Yes. I like to draw my lips in the fullest extent of what it is. Like, I'm not one of those people that like to draw inside the line. I like to draw on the line. So it's as full as it is. I always tell my makeup artists and whoever's doing my makeup, line my lips the way God intended. <laughs> I like it full. I mean, if God didn't give me all that lip, he wouldn't put it there, right? So, line it the way it's supposed to be. Don't reduce it. You know some people like to reduce the lip size. I don't know why. I'm not one of those people. I tell you that. Mm -mm. I'm not one of those people at all. I want my full lip. I can't find my MAC Ruby Woo, so I'm going to be using Classic Makeup. If you're Nigerian, you probably know what this is. It's Classic Makeup USA. They say they're from USA, but I feel like all Nigerians believe that they are Nigerian. Um, because this color is even called Ruby Woo. But that's not my business. It's called Ruby Woo. Okay, it's not as good as MAC Ruby Woo, let's be honest, but... It's pretty down good. And if you know classic um, makeup lipsticks, they're pretty nice. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's not really good, but it's good. Okay. okay. So sometimes I like to make my lip liner a little, I mean, darker, yes, but a little darker than this, like a brown. But today, I didn't want that ombre, ombre-ish effect. I just wanted a little darkness on the edges just so it doesn't spill. If I'm honest, this classic lipsticks, they always just glide on so beautifully, which is crazy. Because they're super cheap if you're from Nigeria. And you got in there in Nigeria, you know how cheap this is. It's like, you guys, it's like, uh, I'm going to say in dollars, it's like $2.50. <laughs> you can't compare that price to MAC. I mean, really, you really can't. But it's pretty darn good for $2.50, if you ask me. So like I said, I like to do my lashes last, so I'm going to add my lashes now. I'm going to spray my face one last time. Then I'm going to put my wig on. And then I don't think I want to put my lashes on on camera, so I'm just going to do that off camera, and I'll be right back. And then I'll be ready to go. And then I will give you guys a little bit snippet. I think I have like five more minutes to give you guys a little bit of snippet of just more on the dating life in L.A. because it's ridiculous out here. And I'll be right back. So I'm ready and as you can see I put my wig on I decided to go with the short wig because I just felt like with this look it just kind of came together very nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off my nail situation. Just cover up the chips because it's so ghetto of me because I haven't done my nails and I really don't like when I haven't done my nails if I'm honest but this is where we're at. So I'm going to just cover up the chips of my nails and then I'm going to go. For my day i think i'm going to do a properly de detailed video about dating in la this is just a touch on it and if you feel like you want to hear more about dating in la just put it in the comments below and i will talk about it because dating in la is super super weird and dating in la is like really different i know i've said this this entire video but dating in la is really weird it's really different because people out here are just so superficial and so flaky and so it's such a hookup culture and I'm just not used to that. I'm not trying to fuck the first person that I meet on the first date. I'm not trying to have sex with that person. It's just not me. It's just not what I do. Um, no matter how much we vibe, no matter how great it is, I just feel like you can put in a little bit more work to get the cookie. It's just what it is. I feel like my cookie and my box is just worth more than one date. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. Maybe I'm old fashioned and I'm fine. I'm actually okay with being old fashioned. If that's what old fashioned means, 
and I don't want to, I don't feel like giving out my box on the first date, then you know. No judging to anyone. If you're feeling it, you're horny, and you want to just give it up on the first date, then by all means, feel free to do that. That's you. Kudos to you. But for me, it's just not, I just not, it's, it's just not something I'm used to. I mean, you never know. Ask me again in six months, it might change. But for now, two months in, hmm, it's just not what it is. But apart from that, guys, what do you think of my look? <laughs> I am absolutely feeling myself. What? Alright guys, I'm gonna end here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have so many videos that I filmed for you. I'm just editing and dropping them as they go because I promised to be super consistent this time. So I'm so excited to be bringing you all the content that I have lined up. Yeah, I have so much content. Like, it's crazy how much content I have for you guys. And I really honestly can't wait for you guys to see the content because I really enjoy doing this. Like, it's so much fun for me, guys. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to say goodnight and farewell. I hope my day goes well. Wish me luck. Pray for me. And hopefully it's a nice guy. We continue to see each other. And you know, you never know. To be honest, I'm open. So we'll see. Um, for those of you that are wondering, no, it's not a black guy. It's just not. LA, I feel like, like we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I'll go into details of LA did and we'll talk about it. But yeah. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna go. Catch you in my next video. Hey guys, Bye. please don't forget to hit the subscribe button <laughs> and hit the like button. And don't forget to leave a comment down below to see more videos like this or just more videos from me. Thank you so much, guys. Ciao.